Well, new at 11, Ohio could soon be home to another major factory. In a statement, Governor Mike DeWine offered a clue that automaker Honda is eyeing the Buckeye State for the expansion of electric vehicle manufacturing. So what could a move like this potentially mean for the state? How many jobs could Ohioans fill? NBC4 Sierra Johnson has been following the story throughout the day. She joins us now with some of those answers. Sierra, what did you learn? Yeah, Carrie, there are two major questions in this big news. Where could the plant go and why the state of Ohio? While the answer to that first question remains unanswered, the why Ohio is an obvious answer for some. The automotive industry is changing massively, and so we want to be relevant to the future of the automotive industry. President and CEO of the Ohio Chamber of Commerce, Steve Stiver, says it's no secret that the cars of today will look drastically different than the cars of tomorrow and sees there's a big chance that that change will have origins in the Buckeye State. And in Ohio, we still know how to make things, and I think that makes us competitive. And he says it's that existing knowledge that have led some of the nation's largest automakers to announce Ohio as their latest expansion. It's been great that GM has already announced a uh, plant in Lordstown, an electric battery plant in Lordstown. Foxconn has announced a major electric um, plant in Lordstown as well. Ford just announced a plant, a $1.5 billion plant. Stiver says while the exact location of the proposed site remains unknown, given its estimated $4.4 billion price, in comparison to Ford's latest announcement, one can imagine just how many jobs we can anticipate. You know, we could be talking about, you know, three or 4,000 jobs with uh, the Honda plant if it were to come to Ohio. Thousands of jobs for technology that some leaders like California's Governor Gavin Newsom is counting on. In 2020, California made headlines by announcing by the year 2035, all new cars sold statewide must be zero emission vehicles. And while Stiver says there are other major players in the EV industry, states like North Carolina and Tennessee, this CEO says the key now I think it's very important that we make Ohio competitive and make sure that uh, we try to get that plant right here in Ohio. So closer to home, what do our political leaders say about potentially landing this plant? For Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, the future is bright, explaining in part, quote, Ohio's advanced manufacturing future is bright. With automakers moving to manufacture more and more electric vehicles, we want Honda to expand its operation in Ohio. Carrie, All eyes on Ohio. Sierra, thanks.